Boxing King Media in association with Boxer Shannon Ryan. I think the last time we spoke, we were on a boat. We was, yeah, on a boat. How different was that? Yeah. Bit windy, but um, definitely better settings. You're back out again, your fourth fight coming up. First thing I've noticed about you, you look a bit more muscular. Am I right in saying that? Yeah, and I think I didn't have a break. I've pretty much had three back-to-back -back camps. You know, we had the um, September one, and then that got postponed to October. And then I literally had four or five days off after that fight, and then straight back to, to camp. So my body's not really had the break, to be honest. Uh, I, th obviously, the, the muscular size, that's something deliberate. You'd be working on that. You'd be like, because you, you look like a lot broader. No, it's just... I'm trying I think, to find a polite word to say it. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's okay. Um, but no, it's not, it's not deliberate. It is just... We're doing what we need to do in training to keep me strong, uh, to keep my arms strong, um, to be strong at the weight. I'm quite short for the weight as well, but we're doing super fly, and then when we um, get more experience within that, then we'll move down. Um, super fly is really easy for me to, to make. Uh, but yeah, it's not deliberate. It's just I think it's just my body type, if I'm honest. I just spoke to Laura Payne, who's also a super fly, so a potential opponent down the line. But uh, it makes sense because the way you fight, your fighting style, you, you kind of go in there to knock somebody out. Yeah, no, definitely. So it's more sitting on them punches and being strong um, to get in and out. So what are the guys at 25-8 telling you? Uh, how many more learning fights before you're kind of thrown into like a 50-50? Yeah, no, I think we will um, probably get to February, March, April. April time next year, reassess where I'm at and then just take it from there, one fight at a time. I only started boxing in 2018, um, so I'm very happy with the improvements that I've made and I'm looking forward to what's to come. I'm just thinking back now, I think you're last away and I was sat next to your mum and dad, so I got to meet your dad. You're obviously a spitting image of your dad. Uh, do you think so? Yeah. I, my mum always says I'm more like her, but and my sister looks like more like my dad. I, I thought you definitely looked like your dad. Um, and also, recently I've seen you've been modelling for Box Raw as well, how did you find that? Yeah, no, really good. I've got a good relationship with Box Raw. Um, they're very, very good people and they've supported me since 2018, so hats off to them for supporting my whole journey. I think, you know, if I think right, I think you're probably the only female boxer that I know that they continue to work with. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's any more um, boxing-wise, so yeah. Good stuff. So, obviously, next year's the time you're going to review it. Is there anything else new in Shannon Ryan's life that you want to share with us? No, just that I'm really enjoying my life. I'm enjoying training, um, working hard, studying boxing, and just more so having my freedom. You know, boxing allows me to have my freedom in life, and I will continue to work hard to continue to have that. When you say freedom, why, did you not have freedom before? Were you locked away somewhere? I wasn't locked away, but I was working a retail job. Um, so it's very hard to kind of like have my own time when you're working a nine to five and then you've got a train afterwards. So you get very tired. So it's nice to be able to plan to, to kind of be my own boss and build my own brand to, to choose with my coach when we train, what we do and just schedule my week rather than someone else telling me how to schedule my week. It makes sense. Before I let you go, I just want to get your opinion, Shannon, on uh, obviously Tasha Jonas won another world title at the weekend. Terry Harper's called her out in the last few days, wanting the fight, and apparently a manager saying a big offer's gone in. But it seems like there's a lot of politics going on behind the scenes, which nobody really knows what's going on. But would you like to see that fight? Do you know what I would? Obviously, they uh, fought behind closed doors before. That can change a lot within itself. Terry Harper was at a weight that I don't think she was meant to be at, as she's saying. Um, they've both gone up weight. So I think I would like to see it because it could be a complete different fight now with different circumstances. Who did you think won the first fight? Do you know what? I thought Tasha took it, uh, if I'm completely honest. But this time when I'm, when I'm thinking about it, it, it still is a 50-50 fight and I don't know which way it would go. Good stuff. Anything else you want to add before I let you go? No, just thank you to everyone for supporting. And uh, Sunday, the 27th of November, we go again. It is Sunday now. I keep, I've been saying good luck on Saturday to everyone. <laughs> yeah, I keep thinking it's Saturday too. <laughs> Shannon, thank you for your time.